What's good y'all, Akil here back with another video and today I'm going to give you guys some tips on what to do if you guys have some stale inventory or if you guys are experiencing slow sales and you want to see an increase in your overall sales. So if you guys are interested in these type of videos, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so my first tip that I have for you guys, especially if you guys have stale inventory that is not moving, is to simply just donate that item. And if you guys picked it up from a thrift store, you will technically be redonating that item. But at the end of the day, I think there's really two reasons why that's probably the best thing to do. Now, the first reason is because the longer an item has been sitting in your eBay store, the lower the odds of that item actually being sold. Because the longer it's been sitting in your inventory, the lower and lower it'll end up in the search. And that just doesn't do any good for your business. So at the end of the day it's probably just best to just completely cut ties with that item or if it's something that you really do believe in and you just want to practice that patience the better thing to do might be to just use the sell similar option that way you can get a brand new eBay number and you know once you list an item for the first time especially if it's kind of like a popular item based on your eBay store it might give you a boost in the search so that might actually help your item sell a little faster but like I said before if you have an item that's been sitting in your inventory for a very long time the lower and lower it'll end up in the search and that'll really just hurt the overall chances of you making a sale. So definitely consider that. Now, another big reason why I think it might be best to just cut ties with items that are not moving is because especially if you sell on eBay and now they have that good until cancel option where you know every item just sit on your eBay store forever, you might end up still getting hit with insertion fees every month and they kind of just will simply just trickle into your eBay invoice and you'd wonder why your eBay fees are so expensive. So definitely pay attention to that, especially if you're not using the sell similar option. That insertion fee can sometimes be 10 to 15, maybe 25 cents. And if it's a ton of items that's just constantly being re-uploaded onto eBay's platform, they're going to continuously charge you and all that money definitely builds up over time so definitely keep that in mind in case you guys have some stale inventory and at the end of the day by you donating an item or simply redonating an item you'll be building up some good karma because like they always say one man's trash is another man's treasure and by you redonating that item somebody else might be able to do much more with it than you'd be able to do with it so at the end of the day just cut your ties take the l and not take the l as a loss take the l as a lesson especially if you're dealing with something like clothes by you redonating that item you'll never forget that you didn't do well with that brand and the next time you see it you'll just make sure you not to pick that brand up now another big tip that i have for you guys and this is something that i didn't do in a very long time but i'm actually going to take my own advice and do this right now i'm actually going to run a sale and just for a couple of days i'll give it maybe until tuesday or wednesday and of course i'll update you guys on the results of those sales and i'll let you know how much money i actually made just from those just from running that actual sale but one really big tip is just to run a promotion slash sale. Now on eBay in particular, you guys can run promotions on specific items or your entire store. And some people would always suggest to increase the overall price of the item that you're trying to sell by say 20 to 25%. Then run a sale for say maybe 30% off. That way the buyer is really only going to get 5% off. But because they see that banner next to the item that it's on sale and the sale might be ending soon, that might give the buyer some more you know, incentive and make them want to hurry up and make that purchase kind of like an impulse buy just because they see that that it's on sale so you definitely want to take full advantage of that and the good thing too is that you don't necessarily have to run an, a promotion for your entire store you can just select just a few items and you know you might want to do a mixture of stuff so for instance you might want to put some of the items that you know are still really good sellers you might want to just give that maybe a five to ten percent discount and the items that are really stale and has been sitting for a very long time you might want to do a deeper discount to say 50 to 60 percent off now i'm not necessarily a fan of doing huge sales like that but like I said, I'm running a sale myself, probably just going to be about 20%. And of course, I'll update you guys and let you guys know how that sale went for me. But that's definitely something that I know a lot of people don't necessarily do or, or necessarily even know about. So definitely just get more familiar with running sales on eBay. And that way you guys can convert more sales. Now, another tip that I have for you guys, and this one should go without saying, but of course I still gotta say it. You definitely wanna comb through your store at least once or twice a week and just make sure that your photos are good as well as your description and your item specifics. Now, personally, I do this just a few times a week just to make sure everything in my store is in order. But you always wanna make sure that the items in your store is appealing. I'm not gonna say you always wanna make sure that you know you have a mannequin or you're taking photos on a white background. Just make sure that your photos are attractive and you 
you know, non-distracting. Make sure your feet aren't in the picture. Just some simple stuff like that and just do whatever you can to do to make your make sure that your item kind of pops. And one thing that you guys can do, I was talking about the white background. You can easily just go to a Dollar Tree or, you know, just any local dollar store and buy some of those white backdrops, kind of like those science project backdrops. And that way you can get a really cheap white background or you can download some programs. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what the name is, but I'll make sure I'll put that in the description below. And a lot of these apps that they have right now actually just completely wipe out the background and it'll make the background look really nice, bright, and white. Now, a big reason why people prefer using white backgrounds is only because eBay prefers those type of photos. The photos that kind of look like a stock image, but you know, at the end of the day, it's not necessarily a stock photo, but it kind of has that stock image look to it. eBay really does prefer that. Most buyers actually prefer that so at the end of the day give it a shot see if it works for you I don't necessarily make sure all my items have a white background but it is something that I'm knowledgeable on and I'm kind of leaning towards moving towards that model as well also another tip that kind of goes along with that one is to make sure that your description and your item specifics are on point now for me I tend to use templates anytime I'm making my descriptions for eBay and there's been several times where you know I might have copied and pasted the wrong description for the item that I'm listing and that item might be listed on eBay for several months and the reason why it didn't sell was because there might be a pair of Jordans in a size 8 and in my actual description it might be a description for a pair of ASICs in a size 10 and a half and once the buyer sees that you know they're instantly thrown off they're not exactly sure what they're going to be purchasing and they might click the item but they don't actually make the sale and of course the more times that that actually happens where buyers are just clicking the item and not making a purchase eBay is going to take note of that and just push your item further down into the search as well so these are all things you want to make sure that you're cognizant of and make sure that your eBay store is always on point now I'm not going to say to do this and comb through your eBay store every single day but at least a couple times a week you want to make sure all of your items are are well lit the photos look good and the item is as described all right y'all that's all the tips that i have for you guys today so if you guys enjoyed that video make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you guys got any other helpful hints and tips for me or the rest of the community drop that in the comment section so we can all keep the conversation going i know there's a few other things that might help you boost some sales but these are just the three things that i often use on a weekly and sometimes daily basis so definitely drop a comment so we keep the conversation going and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace. Tighten now, I'm off this shit. You should wanna be a real one.